Hey guys, <laughs> walk around the map device partially. What's going on? It's me, Slippery Jim Mate, and this is Harvest Science. I saw a Reddit post about from this guy named uh Jim Butter Ten, not Slippery Jim Mate, but Jim Butter Ten. Uh, who did some harvest science and mostly didn't run eight mods, didn't take all the alters because his build was shit, didn't do map quality in the map but on the map itself, a bunch of other random shit. So his harvest data is basically useless, but his spreadsheet looked cool, so I stole his spreadsheet. Um, he did imbued harvest of sac frags so i did imbued harvest of sac frags i also did imbued harvest of risk because risk gives you uh additional map modifiers and i was like oh, oh big brain big brain strat incoming um well this this wasn't entirely my uh, this isn't just my harvest strat but you can do twist of fate this is what this originally was, my Harvest Twist of Fate, so I expect out of Twist of Fate just recently. But I went, like, here, Crypto Gateway, I've got my Twist of Fate. And then, if you... Here's the top tip that no one's ever going to do because it deletes your maps, but if you run Twist of Fate and take out the Void Stones, and then put in any T16, like a 20-quality corrupted T16, you're guaranteed to get a natural T16 map drop. On your atlas as in there's only four possible natural t16s much like there are only four possible natural t1s so twist of fate any single t16 will turn into one of these t16s which i coincidentally have scried uh mirror shards and uh mirror shards dying sun and doctor and mage blood onto i think one of them's a nimbus one as well basically i've been running twist of fate 20 quality maps and they would twist of fate randomly into like 300 quant maps and they were all just maps and weirdly enough they're all pretty good layouts like lighthouse and sepulchre and crystal ore and orchid are actually pretty good layouts crystal ore looks like a painful layout but once you run it 400 times it's actually quite easy to navigate it, maybe every map's like that anyway harvest data uh I, the, the, the risk one adds another map modifier, so I could do Twist of Fate, which will add like 8 to 10, make it anywhere between 6 and 9 map modifiers, and then I run 3 risks on top of that, which give it even more map modifiers, and I'm like, these are basically eight, these are basically better than 8 mods, right? They're not, as it turns out. I don't know why, I don't know why they're not, it, it, it makes more sense for them to, anyway. Uh, this dude did was like he did science and stuff and I'm like I could do science and stuff and uh, these are the rates that I have for 63 purple I could let me actually double check uh, where is my juice purples are 78 72 57 78 72 57 I'm gonna go to here because it updates everywhere 78 72 57 Although that's a, the that's not the actual pricing. One sec. If I was gonna do it, I'd do it based off of I have. One sec. I would do it based off of. Uh, how do I do this again, man? I, I wish I knew how to play this game. There we go. I've got this. So blues are around about eighty-two. Let me update that. Uh, yellows are around about. Well, what's that like? Thirty-eight. Update that. And purple is around about, I'm looking at the bottom number, so like massive bulk at 64, so let's say 65. Okay, if I update in, in this one, it updates in all my previous ones. I was going to do T17s, but I, um, I've, uh, this is probably the last video for me this league. I've, I've run out of interest. Anyway, update those. Divs are, divs are like 115 last I saw. 115, what are they on the trade, though? Even less? Even more? 116. We'll do 116. 116, 116. Okay. So, if you do Twist of Fate, 20% map corrupted, a uh, harvest of doubling and four risks, it costs approximately 40c per map, and on average, you make 50c profit per map. So that means you're making, on average, 90c. Average return, 90c. Ah, oh, look at that, I'm so good. As in, I stole a so good layout from this guy. Um, so that's Risk Twist of Fate, more or less. You can scroll through the numbers. I'll put it in the description. This is in my Blight loot area, but whatever. Uh, Twist of Fate 
20% map corrupted doubling with sack frags instead of risks costs less to do, but you make less and the average profit is lower. So if you just buy the risks, risks are better than sack frags, even though they are four times as more expensive, but they give you so much more quant than sack frags just give you 5% quant, basically working like a chisel. Uh, but risks give you an extra map. If you can handle any map modifier, I would love to do 75, like, T17 sack frag imbued and 75 T17 risk imbued doubling, but, um, risks add a random map modifier, so you'd be rolling, like, 75 T17s to be runnable, and then you'd be adding in three random modifiers that could just brick your entire run. But according to this guy's comment, uh, he got a shit ton more in T17s, and I don't know why anyone would do T16s when you could do T17s. Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, uh, risks gave more than sack frags, generically, like 6C more per map, and then imbued is the awakened orb of something, awake, uh, scarab of awakening, scarab of, I don't have any because I ran them all, it's the blue one, damn it, uh, yeah, I, oh, 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 a, uh, Horn Scarab of Awakening, which gives you an imbued crafting device, craft, craft on your Kirak map device. One of these, but it's imbued one. I was like, oh my god, I can make so much money if I do imbued Twist of Fate. It won't work because Twist of Fate re-rolls the craft on the Kirak craft, but it, it doesn't re-roll the Scarab, so generically I was doing, like, juiced maps and just, like, printing Putting, I just twist a fate spamming and trying to get div cards the entire league. I got shit all. I've basically given up, but that was my theoretical cool strat I found that I haven't really seen anyone else doing. I don't know why. Like, if you're worried about maps not dropping, you can just favorite these maps and still run them. And it's not okay. You don't sustain really. But right now, T16 maps are too chaos, and that's a good layout. T16 maps are the cheapest they've ever been. I guess everything will get rebalanced eventually, but kind of cool that you can twist your fate, take that out, and just get infinite of this stuff that you can scry to to make really good things happen. Anyway, you can tw you can basically put the fortunate onto a T16, take all your void stones out, and then just uh, I don't know if there's four maps that give the fortunate, but you could you could just print money because you could twist your fate and scry. You could you can you can twist your fate. I can't think of the right word for like target farming oh it's target farming you can scry and twist to fate target farm the anyway um the other ones that i got i did imbued risk with a doubling one doubling just doubles your harvest rewards and it cost me 153c which is more than a div per map but i made back 260c therefore i profited basically 100 chaos every map aka 0.9 of a divine nearly a divine a map on 8 mod doubling imbued risks, and then uh, fragments, it was 8 mod doubling imbued fragments, and I spent 147, which is only a couple chaos less, but I made like 30, 20, 26 chaos less profit. So, on average, if you can handle doing every map mod in a T16, you might as well, if you're going to do crop rotation, do cartography of risk instead of uh, sack frags. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, no one's going to... Oh, yeah. Um, he made a cool thing, so I'm going to... I stole that, and I uh, I made a graph, which I think is cool. So this is over time, each map run, uh, where the money came from. So imbued risk... Uh, imbued fragments early on, I got lucky, really lucky, with uh, how much money I was making. And I got unlucky really early on with imbued risk, because there was a couple of maps where I didn't make it. Like, if the, if the value goes down, it's because that one in like the the cube made actually minus money for that map but overall cumulatively uh number go up and uh you know logarithmically the yellow one got crazy towards the end so if i just did an entire league of eight mod imbued risk farming you'd make so much money because it's like 5k to a div and i've got like like a, a a mil and a half that i've farmed in like three days i I think I've made like 50 div a day. I haven't sold any of it. It's here somewhere. Yeah, like 50 div a day on just like 75 maps. I could I could have run way more than 75 maps. It was kind of nice to like it was not loot from 100 maps, loot from 300 maps to, farmed four different ways. And it was kind of nice to just like, you know, do nothing. 
I, uh, it's not doing nothing. I'm still playing the game for, like, six hours or whatever, but, like, uh, it got to the point where I've started making tabs and little tab groups on my browser where I'm like, technically speaking, it would only take me 400 hours to catch up on Critical Role. And I'm like, I could maybe do that instead of play the game. And then I'm like, oh, technically speaking, there's a podcast I've been meaning to catch up on and it would only take me 200 hours. So I could do that instead of playing the game. And I'm like, technically speaking, I could, I could buy like a tablet and learn to draw and that would only take me like 400 hours and I could watch Critical Role. Anyway. I think I'm done. There is another yard video coming, but I need to go buy some more stuff from the shop before I do that. Dude, perfect golden hour lighting. What is this? I look majestic. Holy shit. Anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's my, that's, that's it. We did it. We did it. I'm done. I'm done for the, this, this is all my money. I was going to sell this stuff, but I kind of like, I, I, I lost interest in, yeah, and all my tabs are everywhere, and... Oh. I forgot I had these. Wow, I'm glad I remembered I had these. This is every single one I got, excluding the four that I already opened. 27, that's my... That's a that's a, that's a good number in my, uh, in my family, so we're just gonna get... We're gonna open 27 of these as a bonus towards the end, and we're just gonna get, get garbage, and I might as well link, like, a, uh, the... I'm 27 and this and let's we'll see if we get anything good uh, I don't know what that is cool the mark will while will clash darkness enthroned Emperor's might Emperor's might's pretty cool right uh is that like is Emperor's might like a lab jewel might not be worth anything Prandus blazon terminus est forbidden flesh is pretty cool uh, Life Sprig, The Harvest, Bramblejack, dude, is that a Safarian map? Anamamu's Gaze, I don't know what that is. Another one of those Benevolence things, another Life Sprig, a Forbidden Shaker, that's pretty cool. An Astral Projector's cool, but not cool enough to run. A Hrim Sorrow, a Gore Breaker, a Face Breaker, and a Crab something. Crab Boots, I guess. Yeah, catches later. Any of these void? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know what restless dead means. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. You can turn it off now, but I'm just gonna keep. We're just gonna. I'll just farm these things, you know. Some dude was like, um, "Man, I really love gym videos because they're just so raw and unedited," and I'm like, "I edit." them sometimes i'll have you know actually there's a video i wanted to make this league i basically just like anytime any anytime anything happened i took a clip and typically like sometimes i like doing like edits of you know this was my week one of sentinel league and i edited together the entire like week one of sentinel league maybe i'll do that but for all the clips i recorded this uh this entire league the problem is Sweet. early on it's like, wow, that was notable, I dropped an Alk, and then later on I'm dropping, like, multiple Divines in a map, and I'm not clipping any of it, because it's, it's got, I've got to the point where Divines aren't impressive, you know? But, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm, I'm supposed to full clear in this, right? Yeah, full clear. Technically not opening the strong boxes would be better. The strong box, the, uh, the Val, the, the, the Val caches. Because I think, maybe, maybe they don't count, maybe they do, I don't know. And let's see if I can kill the boss. Wow, gameplay. Wow, normal gameplay? Wow, what's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. Killed the boss. The little chest thing shows up. Maybe I do have to open all the boxes. Triggers a Val Spark. This isn't a... Eh, I don't know. Okay, I got that one. Do this one. Do this one. Dude, I've pressed the E key so many goddamn times. My finger is, like, more muscular on my, like, my one finger on my hand is more muscular than all my other fingers, because I've pressed this e, e key so many times. Wow, synth bosses. I'm gonna die. Life gain on hit only gets you so far. ES on hit, I should say. Ah, oh, good thing I'm already level 100. I got to level 100. Oh my god, what is going on with the camera? I got to level 100, and, um... I did slash passives, and it turns out I was missing a passive the whole time. 
so smart. Anyway, come on, Jim, you can do it. Yeah, just, oh my, fuck, you know, I stop attacking and I, it's like I should get out of the way of the damage and I try and do, oh my god, I'm on fire. I try to get out of the way of the damage and then I die because I've stopped attacking because my defenses are based on the fact that I'm constantly hitting things. Okay, Jesus Christ. Where thing? Where thing? Where, oh, I should just, I should just edit this. I might actually have to edit, you know, I'll either jump forward and I succeeded, or I jumped forward and I failed. Probably the second one. Or I don't edit it and I find it right now. I find it right now. Find the thing right now, where the, f oh wait, have I not cleared? Hey, I know how to play this game, 80% clear rate, yeah, 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 yeah. Where is it? What? Oh, there's a reason I don't do these fucking maps, man. Settle in, boys. It's gonna be a long one. How and why and where and... Oh god, please don't make the rituals count. I really don't Sweet. want the rituals to count. Oh cool, he's like taking reduced damage because he likes running away. Uh... Thanks for watching. I'm gonna be in the sun if you need me, and I am gonna end this video now. And I'll put in the comments if I made any money from these maps because it's gonna take me fucking years. Catches later, and uh, what the fuck is going on with my camera?